G'day everyone, uh, if you're watching this, it's because you're interested in buying my boat, so thanks for your interest. Um, thought I'd make a video just to hopefully save answering a thousand questions and maybe save you a trip if this isn't what you're looking for. So this is the Squid, it's a 4.2 metre bluefin centre console, um, built uh, sort of early 90s. Um, it's got a 2003 Yamaha 40 uh, two-stroke on the back. Uh, as you can see, cosmetically, it could do with a bit of TLC. I'm not pretending it's in uh, perfect condition, um, but it goes really well. The hull's in really good condition and the motor runs really well, which I'll kick it over at the end and give you a look. Um, uh, it's ready to put in the water and start fishing straight away. So, But if you want a bit of a project uh, boat as well to do a bit of work on, then uh, uh, could do with a bit of TLC and it could suit you. So. You can probably do with a repaint. Um, there's a little bit of rust in the trailer um, as well, um, which you may want to have a look at. Um, maybe redo the floor at some point. There's a couple of soft spots there. So it's ready to put in the water and start using straight away. Um, um, but you can chip away at those other bits if you want to do that as well. So I'm selling it because I'm pretty much just upgrading and getting something a bit more family friendly. The boat itself, structurally, the hull's in really good nick. Um, no leaks at all. Uh, the console's solid. A um, few holes in it from various configurations of sounders and stuff on the top of the console. Um, that you, I'll show you there. Um, but really, it's in um, fine condition. Um, yeah. Um, you can pull the top of the console off, the screen off as well, so you can reduce your height and get it I drive it through a uh, roller door there, um, so I can get the height down as well. Um, so the forward controls have uh, recently uh, had two new uh, edge control cables installed, so they're silky smooth and work really well for the uh, forward controls. The nav lights on the side work fine, um, but it needs a new anchor light, uh, which was mounted up the top of the centre console screen there. The floor's okay, as I've said, there's a couple of soft spots um, which probably could do with um, a bit of attention somewhere along the line um, but um, generally it's in pretty good nick as well uh, what else uh, you can see these couple of seats in the back there they can be pulled off um, if you don't want them and there's also a bench that runs across the back there in front of the motor you can remove that as well um, just to give yourself a bit more space if you don't like that and that's uh, in the way um, it's also come, got a bimini which I don't have attached at the moment, that's it on the side there. Obviously the cover's pretty tattered but the bimini itself's in pretty good condition. Um, so you can put that back on if you want to do that. Um, but yeah, I I've, I've don't have that on at the moment. Um, in terms of what it comes with, it's got a um, as new Sentry marine battery which is in really good nick. Uh, there's two 25 litre fuel tanks. Uh, you can see um, what else? I've got a Lowrance uh, Elite uh, fish finder, 4X fish finder, uh, and a GME uh, radio as well, uh, marine radio. Um, comes with sand and reef anchors. I've got them in the bag up the front there, um, and some flares um, and, and a V sheet under the console, uh, some full life jackets as well. Um, and um, what else? I've got the burly bucket on the back here if you want that. Uh, and those LED lights on the back of the boat, they just screw onto the back of the boat hull. Uh, you can just pull them off when you um, finish towing. Uh, they work fine as well. So the outboard, um, it's a 2003 Yamaha 40 uh, horsepower two stroke. It's got electric tilt. Um, it's electric start, but it's also got a pull start as well. So if your battery dies while you're out fishing, you can just uh, get yourself going again um, with the pull start. Um, doesn't have an hour meter, but it's done probably about 250 hours. Runs really, really well. Uh, I haven't kicked it over for about a month, but I'll start it soon and you'll see it'll start first go. Um, and it pumps water really well as well, so it's in... It's in really good condition. It had a pretty major $800 service a bit earlier this year. The uh, carby was completely stripped, um, got an ultrasonic clean, reassembled and tuned back up and brand new spark plugs installed as well. So it's really running like a dream at the moment. 
Um, and as I mentioned in the same service, I got the new uh, control cables uh, put in as well. Uh, you can see them, the blue ones running under the console. They um, really running really well, really smooth as well. So I'll kick the uh, motor over now. You'll see it kick over and you'll um, just see it pumping water. Uh, and so just give me a minute while I do that. Yeah, so that's pretty well it. Sorry about that. I don't know why that video stopped there, but anyway, you should be able to see uh, the motor running there. I've put another video up so you can have a look at that. Um, anyway, it's running well, as you can see. Um, so yeah, that's pretty well it. That's the squid. Um, so yeah, it could do with a bit of TLC, but you can put it in the water and be fishing tomorrow as well if you want to do that. So uh, if you've got any other questions, just send us a message and I'll get back to you. Thanks again.